The purpose of this video is to give a quick 15 to 20 minute demonstration of McAfee's Management Console EPO. It's not designed as a technical training resource. Full one-to-one -one product demonstrations which are more in-depth and tailored to your needs are available. Please ask your account manager to arrange one for you. EPO4 is a web-based console as opposed to the previous versions that were MMC based. This means that all users that want to administer EPO no longer need to install a console on each of their machines. The first screen you will be presented with when you log on is the dashboards. These are totally configurable and are unique to each user. There are stock reports that are shipped with the product and any user created reports can be placed on the dashboard. I'll give you a quick demonstration of how the dashboard can be customised. Let's say for example I've just deployed a new agent and I want to see how many machines have taken this update. I currently don't have a report on the dashboard for this, so I can change the size of the dashboard to make space for more reports. I then add a new monitor and I pick which report I would like to use. In this case it's a ship report giving me agent versions. On this report now you can see I have five machines that don't have the latest agent on them. I can now click on the section of the chart that represents these five machines and see further details. I can also perform actions on these machines. These machines probably haven't picked up the latest policy yet, so I'll wake them up and they will check in and see that they need to install a new agent. The next section we'll be looking at is reporting. This is a pretty strong point for EPO. On the left hand side here we can see we have a long list of built in reports for all the products that EPO is managing. We can also create our own reports from scratch using predefined templates or we can pick an existing report and edit them to tailor to our needs. Any of the variables listed on the left hand side here can be added to reports and used to filter data. The variables range from product specific like versions and hotfixes to system specific data like free disk space and OS version. The server task log, as the name suggests, shows us any events that the EPO server has run. We can drill down to each of the tasks to find out details like the time run and if parts of the task failed. 